Uh, it's it's been a while since I uh, made a video. A lot has happened since last time, since the Dunkelastius up there. I don't think I'm gonna explain it all, but here are some highlights. I cleaned my shop, reorganized it, went all the way to Iowa to hang out with Nick and Nate. Caught a monster brown trout on one of my homemade lures. And I've just gotten better at making lures. This is terrible lighting. Here's another one I've been really appreciating lately. And there's a bunch more up here. Didn't make all these though. Anyway, I think you all deserve a new video. A simple one, but a special one. I think I'm just gonna be painting this one up. I tested it out, works good. The right depth I was looking for. And then I'll be taking it fishing. And that's where it'll hopefully become special. Gotta take these hooks off. Anyway, let's get into it. And hopefully I don't just uh, film the intro like usual. Hopefully I can finish this video. I think that depends on whether or not I catch a fish. So yeah, let's get this done and then catch a fish. And then I'll upload a video and you all will be happy. And here's the cleaned up shop. It's looking pretty decent compared to what it used to. Paper towel time. It feels a little wasteful, but these things are nice to paint on because like there's nothing about a nice bright white surface so you can really see like how much paint you're, you're actually spraying. So I like painting on these these days. Tape time. Taped up. Oh, shoot. I forgot to plug in the compressor. This might take a minute. And here are the materials. And here comes the process. Got the airbrush nice and clean. Uh, well, kind of clean. Time to shake a shake a pain up. Also, these needle nose vice grips are incredibly perfect for this job. I recommend them. And yeah, starting with white. This handgun heat, this, bah, this handheld heat gun has been really nice for drying these things off. Next is pearl white. Usually it's not a good not a good idea to put pearl colors as a base coat because that just means your pearl scales won't show up as well, but I should be putting enough on top of this that the scales will still show up. And I've done a paint job pretty similar to this. I just think I have a couple ways to improve it. Looks nice and shiny though. The next color I'm gonna do is some detail moss green. And this is going to go all on the back and bring it down about halfway, I think, and let it fade pretty, pretty nicely. You know, I don't know why I make such a big deal about recording videos. This isn't bad at all. I don't know why I don't do it sometimes. But anyway, I'm going to spray that color now. Mm -mm -mm. Just look how nicely that blended. This one paint just... Really atomizes nicely. Hmm, good stuff. Are you ready for the next step? Silver. I'm gonna use this stuff and cover the whole belly with it, with the silver. And hopefully it looks cool. I needed some assistance holding down this mesh stuff. That looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie though, I didn't mean to bring it up this far, but still looks pretty darn good. Pretty nifty. Okay, I'm gonna give this thing a little spray on clear coat to protect it from the scales I'm about to give it. Focus. Shiny. Nice. There's a bit of a funny spot. I think a raindrop might have landed on it there, which is not good. But otherwise, pretty shiny, pretty nice. And I just gotta wait like 40 minutes or something, maybe just an hour. Okay, I let that cure. Now it's in some mesh, and the process for the scales is gonna be 
pearl white, a lot of it, and then I'm gonna do seriously. Now that that's over with, um, uh, oh yeah, then we'll do detail smoke black just on the top so that the color shift I'll put on top of that pops even better. Okay, here I go, pearl white. Okay, here goes that detail smoke black I was talking about. Okay, here's the exciting part. Some color shift blue to purple, or more like purple to green to blue. Good color. Some nice color stuff going on there. You can't really see the purple from this angle, but it's there and it's pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and take this mesh off right now. Gotta be careful when it's clamped on so tight and you put this much paint on there. It sometimes kinda sticks and you just gotta be careful not to chip the paint or anything. Whew. Yeah, this side got pretty stuck. Look at, you can see the scales are kinda messed up, but you know, it still looks pretty darn good. Look at that. So those little marks you can kind of see in there, those are unfortunate. That's where the paint got like stuck to the bot. I mean, the, the mesh, I don't know. But it's a little unfortunate, but you know, that looks pretty darn good, just like that. Even with that little imperfection. Nice and shiny, you can still see the pattern underneath. Has a good action, mm, looking pretty good. So one of my favorite things to do on a natural bait fish pattern like this one is take a comb and some pearl white and just give it some little ribbing striation-y things. Okay, you should be able to see better from here. There's the result. I think that looks good. It's like subtle, but you can still see it. So yeah, I like that Here, from a distance. Here's this side. This side has all its colors a little stronger than this side, but I don't mind too much. Now I'm going to dump the remaining pearl white on the belly of this thing. Now I'm not too far from a point where I can start to just wrap it up. So I think I'm just gonna put a little more detail smoke black on the back, give it some gills and eyes, and give it a clear coat. Okay, here's the detail smoke black. Kind of a good strategy is to aim for like the back side over here from the top. And that just gives you a nice fade, so that's what I do. Wow, that is really shaking the camera today. That does not usually happen. I gotta figure something out to fix that, but there's that black. Okay, now it's time for the gills. And so I have these little stencils that I just made and detail smoke black. And now I'm gonna start spraying. Okay, here we go. There's the base for those gills. It's coming together pretty good. So I've done some stuff to the gills. I actually just added a little darkness so that this color shift I'm about to add pops a little more. So let's see if that works. I've never tried that. It's the same color shift that I put on the back. Just a tiny amount, I'm hoping. I'm just adding a tiny bit of this like pinky color underneath. I think it looks good. Well darn, I think that looks pretty good. Took me a while too. I mean, I might've thought it looked a little nicer for how long it took me, but I really can't complain. I think that looks pretty good. Eyeball time. So I could hand paint an eyeball or use one of these. And I have a feeling I'm gonna end up using these. I've been using these a lot lately because they look good on what I've been making. So yeah, I think this would match. Mm, 
This is a pretty good looking bait. The eye does match, I think. Color shift is nice. Gotta get it on this side. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty decent. And tomorrow, I'll spend hours on the water, even though tomorrow's a lot colder. And I'm gonna hopefully catch something. I got some new epoxy, and it's really good, but I think I'm gonna use the old stuff for this one just because I need to use it. And well, I also wanna fish with this tomorrow, and this stuff cures a lot faster than this stuff. So, going with this stuff. Also, I got some cool pigmenty stuffs, and I'm gonna put some blue into this clear coat. These are terrible quality brushes. Hopefully I'll get some better ones next time. Sorry, I know you can't see this. Oh shoot, it dripped, oh gosh. There's a ton all over the lip. Uh, well, I take it back. I'm not putting that hypershift stuff in there because I forgot to. So uh, here it is. So here's our lure. I'll show it show it to you a little more at the bottom, but clear coat came out pretty good. Hopefully it still has the same good action. But yeah, walking down to the spot, and I'm a little concerned because I'm seeing some pretty heavy white caps around where I'll be. And white caps mean big waves. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's been like the warmest, sunniest December ever. And today was the day I cleared for a day full of fishing down here, and it was the First day in months that has any snow and temperatures this cold, so. Yay! But I hear that the stormier days, the better it is out here for lake trout, which is a fish I have yet to catch from this spot and I see all the time, so. Hopefully today will be the day. I have more time to come down here, not just today. Since uh, school is uh, remote these days, it ends a little early. It's a bit loud over here, but here is our lure. Came out pretty good. Relatively simple, but flashy and natural, so it should work out here, although conditions aren't looking too good today, maybe. So we'll find out. I'll I'll fish quite a while longer. So yep. Looks pretty good though. I literally just said last cast, and then I just had a fish on, I just lost it. I turned off my GoPro, I said last cast, giving it big jerks, it wasn't huge. Are you kidding me? I got it, fish on, recording. Let's see what I got, it's little. No way, what is this gonna be? Is this a salmon or a brown trout? That might be a salmon. No, I think it's just a brown. Oh, you seeing that? Last cast. There were two of them out there, I guess. I think this is a brown trout. Little guy. No, 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 no. Oh shoot, now I'm hooked. Okay, fish, gorgeous fish. Nice fish on the homemade lure. This is not going to be that pretty of a release. But it was too choppy to do anything else. Oh. Yeah, you guys are not going to appreciate that release uh, in the comments. But uh, caught a fish and it's in my sleeve like, like last time. On the last cast after I lost another one.
Anyway, video's over and uh, caught a fish, made a lure. Um, yeah, success. Good stuff. Wow, I really do not know what to say for this outro. Anyway, bye.